there were so many movies this year that really just took the steering wheel of horror movies and just <laughs> The Rental is uh, one of my favorite movies that came out this year. Um, Dave Franco is an incredible director. Um, he really knew what he set out to make. Let me show you out back and then I'll get out of your hair. The stars are insane out here. I should have brought the telescope. What do you need a telescope in the city for? Unless you're like a peeping Tom or something. <laughs> it's still innovative, but it's also a very timeless horror movie, a very traditional horror movie, and um, it's so good. Carly! Tell me that's not a camera. The Invisible Man. Uh, this movie was directed by the guy who starred in uh, Saw, the original, alongside Carrie Elwes. Um, he's really good friends with James Wan. Really, like, prominent horror dude. Elizabeth Moss stars in this movie, and um, the, the writing of that movie is really good. It's such a great script uh, to have. Universal horror monster guy, mad scientist tale from the 40s or 50s, and integrate it so seamlessly into this year. Listen, you're getting your freedom back, okay? He said that wherever I went, he would find me. Walk right up to me, and I wouldn't be able to see him. Adrian is dead. He's not dead. He has figured out a way to be invisible. I super recommend you, you see it. The Wolf of Snow Hollow is this movie that really snuck up on me. One day I was kind of bored, so I was like, whatever. And this thing kept popping up on me, and the art for the little thumbnail, the thumbnail art, looked so good. It was just, it's just like a red background and like a white, like, wolf outline. And it turned out to be uh, my favorite horror movie of the year. This is scary. It's new. I never saw a body like that. There's gonna be a lot of late nights and overtime because of the brutal murder that happened in town. And I didn't want to set up expectations that I can't keep. Our expectations of you are very low. Spans the bites are gigantic. Same as the distance of the paw prints. <laughs> It's a wolf. Or maybe it's a werewolf. No, let me just make this perfectly clear. There is no such thing as werewolves. It's like you took the police department in like, you know, Wyoming or somewhere and like, ha it, it's so real. It's like if you actually had a werewolf attack, the wolf shots are extremely cool. If you do think werewolf movies are bad, and like stereotypical and maybe too actiony or not enough story, you will fall headfirst into this movie and love it because it is so intricately written and well acted. Uh, it's it's great. Last year, probably the worst movie that came out was The Curse of La Llorona. It was terrible. It was ham fisted into the insidious universe with like the non end stuff. Just La Llorona on Shutter. It is an immaculate movie. It's very subtle. There's little scares woven throughout the movie, but it's mainly the story of this old man and the horrible things he's done through his whole life and how they resurface and how they haunt him and how they haunt his family. Atrás. Is that atrás? No pensas en eso. But it is so good. So much better than the American version. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. It is nuts. It's just acting. It's just, it's, uh, it, uh, it. Chadwick Boseman acts his rear end off in this movie. But it's so good. Even if you're not into stage plays, which is the point that they made this movie and put it on Netflix, I'm sure. Uh, it, it is beautiful. There is also a little bit of music. Um, I'm, it sounds like they took original pressings of Ma Rainey and her band, or at least the vocals of Ma Rainey herself, and um, sort of played that over like the band jamming but I don't know if they did that or not or if that was just like how they recorded it in the 
in the movie studio. It sounds really, really good, um, but the main the main plot of the play isn't the music itself. It's these it's the tension between Ma Rainey and all these people around her and the band that plays for her and their dynamics. When I got there, they began to say, "That's to get the people's attention. That's when you and Slow Drag come in with the rhythm part. Me and Cutler play on the break." Levy, the sooner you understand it, then what you say is what Ma said to count. <laughs> we'll be ready to go in 15 minutes. We'll be ready to go when Madam says we're ready to go, and that's the way it go around here. Each person represents like a stage of life, sort of. Everybody, nobody is the same age, really. Nobody is coming from the same background. It is the best acted thing I've seen all year, and if there's a best picture, I really hope that that movie wins it. So what movies are good and what movies are bad is a matter of perspective, and that was what made me want to make these videos. So I hope that you've liked them. I hope I've, I know I've been away a long time, but I hope I've given you some stuff to watch. Not sure when my next video will be because I've clearly got some equipment upgrades to make, but I will see you guys next time on the Dead Picture Society. Thank you very much. I'm the child.